Aloha mai kako, a koma mighty curtain call, a program of reviews and previews of the great art and artists on Maui and beyond. Brought to you by the generosity of Trilogy Ohana, Maui's first family of sailing. Kutra Culver, a.k.a. Kerry Ashon, is the first artist in the 20 years I have been covering exhibits at the Hui Noyao to have a true one-person show. Her current exhibit, Hysteria, opened last week, and I must say, the gallery isn't big enough for this woman's talent. This show is remarkable on so many levels. First, there is the clarity and boldness of her intentions to heal the planet's imbalances. She attempts to do this by painting on silk impressionistic images she sees through the microscope. She recreates these biomorphic images of pandemics, viruses, water genetics, plant cells, etc. She tells us she sees her silk as a petri dish wherein she can rearrange life on a cellular level to stunningly beautiful effect. She is also a highly skilled installation artist. She and her group ArtSource created ArtMix. Since then, it has become a staple of the Maui Arts and Cultural Center. In the main gallery are what she calls biomorphic silk paintings. These are mostly large museum quality works that range in technique from Japanese rosomi elements of batik, French serti, and the painterly techniques incorporating dyes, resist, gouda, enzymes, acrylics, and other experimental mediums. Each work takes at least a month. In the rear gallery is where the real hysteria comes in. The Red Room, does that remind you of anything? Red Room! Red Room! Red Room! Red Room! Red room. Stop it! Red Room! Blends her biomorphic painting and turns them into wall coverings, upholstery for chairs, and live action video wall hangings and an interactive table. She blends Baroque furniture with these futuristic patterns and comes up with an insanely beautiful room that I am sure Steven Tyler would love. One wall is painted entirely in red with mirrors on it. She compares our current state with the oligarchs in control and an unbalanced womanizing egomaniac as the leader of the free world to another time of excess, that of Marie Antoinette. And we all know how that ended. The opening featured printed chocolates, The ghost of Ethel Baldwin, letting the art in with the entire facade of the hui, transformed into Kudra Clover's biomorphic art. The video she and her equally talented husband, Bennett, created deserves a review all its own. This was the most remarkable opening Maui has ever seen. She also created amazing costumes for the adaptation's dance theater dancers. Hysteria is a great show by a remarkable artist. It will be on display 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. until April 13th at the Hui Noyao Visual Arts Center on Baldwin Avenue in Makawao. This will be one of the biggest drawing audiences in the history of the Hui, so helly on up there and check it out. Well, that's Curtain Call for this week. Next week, I'll have a review of Oh Boy's production of Moliere's Tartuffe. Thanks for tuning in to Curtain Call. I'm Paul James Brown. Ahui ho!